So I'm absolutely gutted. I'm going to make my way up to A and E. Oh, I'm just so annoyed. So here I am in the gym. I've just done a standing back somersault and had the sharpest pain in my Achilles tendon. I'm really concerned. It's been sore for a couple of days now. I just did a standing tuck back somersault and oh my God, I thought it was going to break. In the meantime, while I'm thinking about what the best thing to do is, I'll just get on and do some setups. That'll help me think a bit. But really concerning because I'm trying to make videos. So I'm back in the gym after my little trip to the hospital. I've come straight back. Nothing they can do, it's tendonitis. My plans have gone out the window today, so I'm really determined to try and get something done. So I'm gonna swing a little bit of high bar. Trying no wristbands today. Just some um, line ointment. Used to be able to get this years ago. Um, it's just like a waxy sort of cream, healing cream actually. But when I was a gymnast, I never used to wear bandages or wristbands. I used to just put some of this on my wrists, um, which would reduce the friction between my wrists and my hand guards. It takes a little bit of a time for your your wrists to get um, used to not having any protection on. Your, your wrists get a little bit bruised at first and a little bit sore, but in the long run, it was so much quicker for competitions, not having to put wristbands and bandages on and uh, just being able to put your hand guards on. I used to wear uh, smaller hand guards so I could wear my hand guards right up, um, which was really good for, um, especially when wearing uh, like a pair of Velcro and rice sport hand guards, was really good for doing inverted giants because you could get make sure you get your wrist right over the bar. This is going to cause me a lot of pain today, but I've got pain anyway in my ankle, so or in my Achilles. So hopefully we'll be good. Ah, Mamma mia! I forgot about jumping up on the bar. Right, no jumping up on the bar. So the major thing with being my age is not that you can't remember how to do stuff, it's that your body just lets you down and falls apart on you. Oh no. At the moment I'm guarding so many things, my back, my shoulder, my wrist, my hands, my Achilles tendon. Ah. I can't keep. Ah. No, I'm not making correct shapes so my heels are going to one side, pulling off to one side. It's like not aligned for the swing half turns. I know that. So common sense has taken over. Uh, I'm just going to do a few catch F actions to finish. Anyone interested in what I'm using on my wrist today? It's Burgess line ointment. I don't think they manufacture it anymore, but you can get it online um, through Feathergills, sort of ointments and things like that. It comes in a small tin, fantastic if you've got rips or blisters. It's such a waxy um, 
a compound it doesn't sort of wash off very easily so it's really good for keeping the skin moist but because I'm so disappointed I can't show you anything moving forwards on high bar today I'm actually resorting to just giving you some tips and things like that on on stuff which might help with your hands and your wrists and bits and pieces like that so anyway it's it's line brand ointment it's made by feather gills um, I've always used it right from the age of about eight years old so um, it's good stuff so catch up action the way I do catch up action I don't put a big action into it I go pretty much from a static handstand position which is a dish down the back as I get to around about horizontal I push push my shoulders through leave my heels behind into the arch position and then through the bottom lift your feet fast towards just above horizontal of the bar and then a strong pull back through the shoulders and and release to create the rotation just for the timer it's just a catch F timer which I'm working today um, so it's just to get my orientation and my speed of movement back because I think being um, out of the gym for such a long time and being older, the speed of movement is one thing which is massively lacking. And as a younger gymnast, I was pretty dynamic. Um, and that sort of things I've got to get used to now. So I'm just taking it step by step. But I was happy with that one. So we go. Dish. Uh, kick. Pull. Ah, didn't get my chest in on that one. Hence the rotation was slow at the end not strong enough through the kick. You can feel it when it's right, it's right. Yeah, a bit better. Better than the last. Not as good as the, the third one. We'll do one more. So positives from the bar session today, one, I did something, two, I wore my hand guards without wristbands, three, I at least made some progress uh, physically with some prep work. So you know, what was the alternative not doing a bar session? What would the, the gain been of that one? Not much. Really disappointed that I'm faced with a lot of obstacles at the moment, injury-wise. I've got to make a plan of how I can work around that and do something constructive, do something positive. I don't want to take time out, like weeks or months, um, to heal up. So I'm hoping we can just carry on. But uh, thanks for watching today, and I'll see you all again next time.